Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of relating fractions and decimals. This is standard 4.2G in the great state of Texas, and we're using item number 13, which is a new item type called inline choice, off the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got uh, a mixed number that we need to create here. And you notice we've got three drop downs here, right? And what we're going to do is we are going to uh, take a look at these options here, right? So let's go ahead and just uh, take a look, right? So we have 79, 7900, or 7904. And it's kind of weird. You can't have them all open at the same time. So what I want to do is I want to just kind of write them right here. So 79, 7900, and then 7904. Those are my options there. Let's see what we have for this top number here. It's going to be 4, 10, and 40. Okay, so I here could have 4. I could have 10, and I could have 40. And then for my bottom number, what can I have? 10, 100, 40, 400. Okay, so 10, 100, 40, 400. All right, so... Those are just our options. This is inline choice, right? It's a two-point problem. So in order to get both points, what we need here is we need to get all three correct. Three points, three correct gets us two points, okay? If you only get two correct, you get one point. If you get one or zero correct, you actually get zero points. So if we just get one of these correct, we're not going to get any points. So how do we get all three correct so we get both points? Well, let's look at this. Look at this number here. It is 79.04. Well, what do we know about that? Let's make a place value chart. Okay. So that's my decimal. We work a lot with decimals in fourth grade. So what are these places? I'm going to write the values of these places. That's my ones place. Right to the left of the decimal is always my ones place. That's my tens place. Two places to the left. If I were to keep going, it'd go hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. What do I have to the right of the decimal? Let's write the value. That's one tenth, or I could write it like this. Right, that's one of our big learnings in fourth grade. 0 0.1 is the same as 1 over 10. Same thing with this hundredths place, right? It's two places over from the decimal. One hundredth. One hundredth, if I want, I can actually write out the words, right? Tenth or hundredth. You notice it's not 10 or 100, right? It's tenth or hundredth with that extra th at the end. All right, so let's write our number there. Seven, nine, decimal, zero, four. Okay. Well, how do we make this into a mixed number? Well, here's the easy thing. Our mixed number, our whole number, anything left to the decimal is your whole number. Okay. So it's going to be 79 something. It's The 79 doesn't turn into 7,900 or 7,904. Okay, so that's just going to stay as your 79. So that's pretty simple. That doesn't change. It's the decimal part that gets a little bit tricky. But take a look at this. This is a 4 in the hundredths place. Okay, so this 4, 0, 4, but it's just going to be 4. That's going to be our numerator, right? And our denominator is going to be the place value that it goes to. And that 4 goes to the hundredths place. So look, I can just take that denominator. 4 hundredths, 4 hundredths, 4 hundredths. Any way you write it, it's going to be 4 hundredths. So that's our answer.